What's up guys, Xbox Mod 360 here, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about a little secret involving the Y-Wings in the Star Wars Battlefront beta. So anyone who played the beta and played the Walker Assault mode on Hoth knows that the objective is for the Rebels to capture the uplink stations, and once they capture those stations, they get to call in Y-Wings. So these Y-Wings are basically the Rebels bomber vehicles, and what they do is they do a bombing run and they bomb the Walkers, and when they bomb the Walkers, the shields go down. And when those shields go down, the walkers are vulnerable to attack, so it's very important that the rebels call in these Y-Wings and have these Y-Wings do these bombing runs. This is their main objective because if those shields don't go down and the walkers manage to get to the back of the map and destroy that generator, the rebels will lose, so it's the main objective of the rebels throughout the game. And anyone who played the beta also knows that players cannot drive the Y-Wing. The Y-Wings are computer controlled when they do their bombing run. So because these Y-Wings are computer controlled and they just do their own routes, a lot of people assume that they can't be destroyed, but that's actually a little known secret about this beta, and I don't know if it'll be in the final product of the game, but those Y-Wings can actually be destroyed. So as you guys are going to see right here in this clip that I recorded, I was coming down from above and I spotted one of these Y-Wings doing their attack run, so I went towards it. And I was really surprised to notice that I was able to lock onto it the same way that I would lock onto the enemy fighters that are controlled by humans. So I locked onto the next one and I was actually able to destroy it. And the reason I was so surprised by this was because I had assumed that they were an unchangeable factor in the game once the Rebels captured the objective they get the Y-Wings no matter what. But as it turns out, these computer controlled Y-Wings can be locked onto and destroyed just like any other fighter. And the reason this is so important, and this is just my personal theory, I haven't tested this out yet, but if you can shoot down those Y-Wings before they bomb the walkers, that would make all the fighting on the ground pretty much meaningless because even if the Rebels do capture the uplink stations, you could just shoot down their Y-Wings before they do the bombing run. And like I said, that's just a theory. The only Y-Wings that I managed to blow up were ones that had already done their bombing run, so it really didn't matter whether or not I blew them up, but I did get some points for it. But I think it would be a safe bet to say that these Y-Wings come from the same direction every single time, so you could probably predict where they're going to be when you hear that they're being called in. So with two or three skilled Imperial pilots in the air, you may be able to shoot down all the Y-Wings before they bomb the walkers. So this is something I find pretty interesting and I wonder if it's going to be in the final version of the game because like I said that does make the uplink stations pointless if you can just shoot down the Y-Wings. And I also wanted to show you guys one other big Y-Wing secret that another YouTuber did a video on. I'll put a link to his channel in the description. The Y-Wings are actually a one-shot kill with a cycler rifle. And to me this kind of just seems like a glitch or a bug because I don't see why the Y-Wings would be destroyed with one sniper shot. So this ties back into that theory I had earlier, if you place a bunch of people with cycler rifles way on the side of the map where the Y-Wings come from and you just have everybody snipe at them, you might be able to take out the Y-Wings before they even do the bombing run. So those are just two little secrets involving the Y-Wings in the Star Wars Battlefront beta. I have no clue if I'm the first person to discover that you can lock onto them with aerial vehicles, but I do know that somebody else discovered this sniper method. And I'll be very excited when the final version of the game comes out to test out my theory of whether or not you can blow them up before they start the bombing run and whether or not EA is going to tweak this a little bit and make the Y-Wings a bit stronger. But anyways guys, that's going to wrap up this short little video. If you found it interesting or helpful at all, hit that like button, and if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button for more awesome Battlefront content. And as always guys, thank you for watching from Xbox Mod 360.